So today has been basically a continuation of yesterday of planting our raised beds, but I also have my dad here today helping me out in the front garden just to kind of get it worked up because we're going to do some plantings out in front. Becky. Yeah, you're going to get all dirty your feet. <laughs> out here is where we're going to most likely be planting some sunflowers and I want to plant some popcorn this year. I got seed for some mushroom popcorn so just kind of do some little patches. I don't think we'll be able to fill this whole garden this year uh, but we'll see. You never know right Sayla? Yeah it smells like worms. Worms? It smells good. <laughs> Gardening is what my dad and I really have in common. We love doing big gardens and growing our own food. And there we go. So far I've got four beds done. So one, two, three, and four right here. This one I'm super excited about. It's a really cool planting. On the ends of course I always like to do flowers. When I create and plant my gardens I like to imagine what they're gonna look like when they pop up and grow in the different heights, the textures, the flowers, the food, all of that good stuff mixed together and I really love incorporating that with all of the seeding as well. So plants and seeding is what we kind of mix. So I'm just gonna share this little mixture that I created. I'm super excited for it to grow in and um, enjoy the food and the snacks, but also the arrangement of flowers and kind of see how it goes in because I haven't really created this combo before. On the end here, this is actually gonna be really pretty because there's uh, different color snaps like orange and rose in here, but we also have the spotted bee balm Which is also going to get really tall and that beautiful like, you know Stacked pink flower with some flowering kale growing right off the end here And then on this entire side all of these plantings are status I love using status in my bundles. They're beautiful even for bouquets. They really hold their color They're a beautiful dried flower that holds their color and that's why I love using them. So we did purple, blue, and pinks. And I did them by color too. So that way when I'm harvesting them and I'm intentionally using them, I know what color I'm using and mixing in for different combos. So over here, these are the girls' favorite and some of my favorites and Jason's favorites, but these are peppers. These are the lunchbox peppers, our favorite snacking pepper because they're tiny and they're multicolor. So they're orange, red, and yellow. And then you can tell I staggered them. So where they are staggered with the pepper in the back, right along the front, I did two rows of carrots. Now, when I seed carrots, I seed them a little bit heavier. We do not keep them perfectly spaced, nor do we space them once they pop up. As they pop up and they get small little carrots, that's around the time that we start pulling, but we pull as we want to snack on them. So we get carrots from the time that they're baby to medium to full size. So by the time that they are growing into full size, they already have enough room to grow into that full size. So we're enjoying carrots from um, the, the time that they're little babies to the time of maturity. And we've always done it that way. We love doing it that way. Do what works for you, but this has always been what, what works for us. And it's been a really great part of gardening because enjoying something to eat something from all different stages is really good and you can notice the different flavors too from the different size and always remember the cooler it is the more higher sugar content it is for the carrot so if you didn't seed your carrots yet don't worry um, you can always do a later batch of carrots and then let them sit when it's really cool in fall and that's when they really get really sweet so we did a different variety here 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 and here. Over here is the uh, two of the same varieties. We did sugar snacks. That's one of our favorite snacking carrots. And then over here we did ingot carrots. 
or ingot, however you want to pronounce it, but we've had those before and they're really nice and they taste good, they're orange. And in this space here, we did the dragon carrot, which is like a reddish purplish carrot. And we've never done this variety, so that will be new for us. And then when it's staggered with the one in the front, in the back, what I did was a placement of seeds. So I did a circle of cosmos, and then I did cilantro, 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 and then I did calendula, calendula. So there'll be a nice little mixture of flowers, and I did that same pattern behind each front-facing uh, pepper. And then on the end over here, we kind of stuck a little similar to the other end, but what I did over on this side was I did the Victory Salvia, so we'll have some nice tall blue flowering flowers along with some snapdragons. I think these ones were the orange. I want to say the orange. Yes, they are the orange because um, I did put our uh, wave petunia plug. So these will get nice and bushy and trail off the edge along with some flowering kale. So it's gonna be a really cool textural flowering combination right on the end. I really love adding flowers on the end caps of the boxes. So that way when we're driving through here, it looks like all flowers, but yet there's so many different mixtures of food and herbs and all kinds of fun stuff. Sayla, there aren't any peppers yet. I know. <laughs> oh, so Sayla made her own oil uh, mixture yesterday. And what are you calling this one, Sayla? It smells so good. Um, the Sayla mix. The Sayla <laughs> mix. Yeah, it smells really pretty. And pretty soon we'll be making our lilacs, right? Yep. yep. <laughs> this is an end cap you guys haven't seen yet. So what I did was I planted our red acer cabbage over on the corners of this end cap. So the reason why I did that was so that way it would kind of grow off of the edge a little bit because these get really large. And what we're trying to do is really utilize the spaces that we have for food, flowers, and herbs. So when you go ahead and plant them right on that corner, it allows them to kind of grow off the edge, but still obviously have nice space to grow. And then we also did some little snaps. So if you're in a really hot, hot location, snaps aren't always the best idea for you because they will not always bloom during hot periods of time. Um, and then over here we have our dark millet. Look how cute. They look lime now, but they get nice and dark leafed with dark plumes. And then we have some verbena banariensis in the back. So that's gonna kind of flare out on that corner and on that corner and have these cute little purple flowers coming up. The butterflies love those. And then in the back over here, we have some Victory Salvia. So you'll have some blue popping up in the back, really nice. And then we have our bright light Swiss chard here, which is good and edible, but also it is absolutely beautiful and perfect for containers as well. It gets so many different colors along the stems and it does get super large. So that's why I gave it some nice space. So you know that these are gonna get large here, these are gonna get large here, and then this will kind of fill in just that small little gap that'll be right in the center. And then right here we have one of our wave petunias. It'll fill in, but as these get big here, all these three here in the triangle, it'll be trailing over by then, and this is where it'll receive its sun right on the front. We've got some of our tomatoes just right on the end here. We like to put them on the far ends because we just allow them to kind of trail over the side. And those are the sun sugars, so they're super huge. Over here we have some of our broccoli. Our plants are still a little bit smaller, but we just put them on the farthest ends, planted them pretty close here. So that way as they grow big, they don't take up all of the garden space. They can kind of grow off the edge and also in the bed. So in the center then we did some cute little Vincent Choice sunflowers and some Benary Giant uh, Zinnias. And we did the lilac color, the purple color, and the coral. So I'm really excited to see how that is. And our potatoes are actually starting to come up a little bit today. So probably in by the weekend, I'll need to kind of start adding some soil in there. Well, that'll be enough for today, you guys. I've got a little bit more to work to do. And then we've got Lana's soccer game. So um, you always have to make time for your family and for doing other things too, because as much as I love gardening, I love so many other things 
uh, as well. So um, it, there just always has to be that balance, especially this time of year because it can get hectic and there's lots of tasks to do, especially when everything looks dirty and messy with uh, with a project going on. <laughs> ah, it's hard for me to sometimes focus with all of the clutter and the mess, but um, you know what, it is what it is. So I'm just gonna keep rolling, keep planting and get things going. And some of our gardens will be behind a little bit this year, kind of around the structure. I don't wanna plant them and then have them step on them if they were to be painting or doing something. I guess we'll just have to see kind of how that's gonna turn out this year. Thanks for joining me and for planting some of my raised beds with me and leave a nice little comment. Thumbs up on the video helps with the algorithm. So thank you so much, you guys. We'll see you guys next time.